joining me. Today I'll be going over a game played by Richard Reddy against Efim Begoyabov. And the reason that I'm choosing to show this game is number one, there's a lot to learn from it. It's a very, very fascinating and a good game. And number two, someone suggested uh, for me to analyze this game. So let's get right into it. It was played in 1924 in New York and um, Reddy uh, was, was using the white pieces and therefore very fitting and as many people su suspect it, uh, the game started with the ready opening. So uh, the ready opening, if you're not familiar, you're gonna start with f3 with the knight, um, with the knight, sorry, and um, a very common response. And the response that White wants is uh, d5, which was played. And the the, the next move, uh, if you're not familiar, it might shock you for a second, is c4. Um, and um, the reason for this, very, very easy to understand reason, if black takes, which is white white wants, um, then you play queen to uh, a4. Um, now you have to, to protect the king somehow. It doesn't matter if you play uh, with the queen, with the bishop, or I mean, even really with the knight. Um, number one, white's gonna then take take back your, um, your, your pawn, and uh, number two, now you have only one pawn in the in the center, while white has two pawns that, uh, in the next few moves, will be um, will be uh, pushed up. So uh, it's a very very popular opening, and the best move to protect it, or maybe not the best move, but one of the best moves is um, just playing e6. Uh, according to Leeches, the most popular move is uh, actually playing c6 or c6. Um, very similar idea, just trying to protect the pawn. Um, the reason I prefer e6 is because um, with c6 here, you're blocking your knight uh, temporarily. Um, uh, with with e6, nothing really is getting blocked. Matter of fact, you're, you're actually giving your queen another um, another uh, diagonal to, to roam. So I would, I would suggest playing e6, which is what was played. Um, and very popular is uh, g3. Um, according to Leech, that's the most popular continuation. Um, and uh, trying both players trying to get their bishops out quickly, as you can see, um, and, and and trying to to roam the diagonals. Um, it's it's the most uh, it's it's the best way to to control the game. The start is making sure that you can you can you can play with the diagonals. Uh, castling. You can see here trading knights. Um, I personally don't like this move uh, for the simple reason that uh, when you play when you play knight to uh, d4, I, I don't I don't like it because uh, if 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 knight uh, takes and, and you take with your pawn, you now have a double pawn. You're doubling up on the pawn, and actually what I would prefer is maybe pushing this pawn um, forward to try to uh, to get your your rook. Uh, with having two pawns here. You're you're now stopping your rook even more, and um, you you want to always make sure that all your all your pieces uh, can get to the to the game as as quickly as possible. Um, so so I think that it was worthy for White to take this trade. Sure, uh, they they lose tempo for a second and have to move their 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 knight, but in fact I think it's a great place to move the knight. Um, if you take number one, I I prefer bishops to to knights, um, and number two you get your your pawn there. Um, and if you take with uh, with the knight, then it's it's a, it's a fine trade. And and in both cases, you have now this this white queen uh, that has a a uh, d d file to to try to put pressure, uh, which is why they didn't take the trade. Instead, played uh, f6 um, in hopes of of just trying to give the 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 number one just trying to give the king a few more a few more uh, room. To if 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 need be, and number two, uh, trying to maybe allow this this rook to um to get into the game. Here, uh, the the reason that uh, Reddy waited a little bit before taking the knight is that he wanted first to to kind of clear up this this slight mess and allow for this rook to join this uh, f file if this rook does. So. Uh, you 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 allow for for a trade here, and hope that eventually you're going to move this bishop out uh, somewhere, uh, not there, but somewhere, 
and um, and allow for this this uh, file to be to be to be clear. Uh, now you take the trade though uh, to to just try to simplify things a little bit and um, and and hopefully make make a, a waste uh, a wasted move. Uh, you move the queen, so he was hoping that he would take with the queen and waste another move on the queen. Uh, now pushing this pawn up, uh, which is a great move. Um, simple reason is that if, um, if 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 they take, then you can capture back with the bishop, and like I said, like I mentioned, uh, freeing up this f file for the rook, which is why they decide not to take. Uh, uh, FM decides to, to push his pawn up. Um, both pawns, interestingly enough, are protected by, by bishops, and um, this pawn has, has three, uh, three, three layers of protection, um, so they're not worried about losing any pawns. Um, but they just want to make sure that they don't lose the, 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 this, this file to, 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 this, to this rook. Now uh, both both uh, players captured um, opposite opposite pawns. Um, the reason that they, they that uh, FM captured uh, here in D4 is to allow this rook uh, a an, an more clear passage. And um, the reason that uh, Reddy captured, in my opinion, is is just to allow for for a simple maybe move of the uh, move of. Um, Move of uh, the bishop and and moving this this rook here and now having two rooks uh, nicely nicely um, put and placed on the e and f files to um, have a little bit more control and like I said trying to move the bishop out of the way um, and and he did it in a great style ha uh, always when you have to do something or at least when it's better for you to do something try to force um, your opponent to lose tempo to, to try to force him to do a move um, and so uh, he, he moved here attacking two pieces both guarded so no real uh, pressure uh, here absolutely beautiful move not only capturing a pawn but uh, forcing this this uh, rook out one more time and uh, right now ready is up um, by one uh, by one pawn so he goes for the trade. Um, great trade for for uh, for um, for FM trying to clear the board, um, but he didn't see that. Uh, so if if the queen wasn't here, and uh, let's say placed on 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 a different uh, position, it was a great trade. You got a pawn, and 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 you can clear the board a little bit. Uh, but you, you play that, um, and, and sure, you can capture on this now, but the problem with doing that move is a very powerful move, f1. And now having two uh, player, uh, two, uh, two, uh, yes, I'm blanking on the word, two pieces on the f file, in hoping, in hopes of attacking and, and causing checkmate, and it's a real big danger um, for 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 Fn. Um, so you you have to protect that, and and from here on out, the game really is just a game of protection. First, by moving the uh, rook back to to try to have some protection. If 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 you take, you can take, and and then then take and take. So it's not really worth it for white yet but here's the thing and this move insanely beautiful absolutely beautiful the problem right now for white is that in any in any case after some trades share after some trades white's king can capture on this or this square so the king is the problem right now so 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 ready decides to to push the king away um, Forcing the king here, which is very, very good for white because um, now the game's over. You can see that uh, one last uh, one last move and, and black resigns. Um, leave in the comments below quickly what you think the move is. It's 
Very powerful. It's E8. Uh, checkmate in, in one or two, depending on if you take or don't. Um, absolutely killing. If, if you don't take and uh, play something else, uh, maybe queen here to... to or, or queen uh, here, maybe, to try to protect this bishop, then you, you, you capture, queen captures, you capture and checkmate. If you kill with the rook, same idea, capture, capture, and uh, 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 rook capturing it last to make a checkmate. And, I mean, if you do absolutely nothing, then checkmate. So, um, it's an absolute beautiful move. Um, main purpose of first moving you might say, well, why didn't he just move straight here? Um, well, that wouldn't have, have led to checkmate necessarily. You have to move here first, push the, the king away, and then only get to, to this e8 spot. Absolute beautiful endgame by uh, Reddy. And a great game by both players. Um, thank you for suggesting this game. And um, suggest more games for me in the comments below. Uh, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this analysis. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next game. Bye.